Um, hey guys, and uh, welcome to day 14 of uh, making videos and having fun. Um, I'm joined with uh, old Bullheyes here. Um, just uh, You're going to have to edit that out, Boyle. Oh no, it's all it's, it's one, one take, mate. One take. One take? That's terrifying. We're, we're a low-budget production here. So, uh, <laughs> explains everything. Has the uh, coronavirus found its way to Oregon yet? Uh, it has indeed. In fact, I was playing basketball with a friend of mine this morning who looked like he had just uh, woken up out of the grave to come play. Wow, that's a that's a scary thought. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I welcome it, though. Uh, it's a test of manhood. Um. Well, I, I, I do know that it, it doesn't infect that area of the body, but, um, so I, I got a couple of just like quick fire questions sort of thing. Um, you know, the Chinese have been saying there's about 10,000 infected with about 250 dead. You know, there's yeah. two ways you can look at that. Maybe there's a, maybe they're under exaggerating <clears throat> or are they just over exaggerating in an effort to keep their population staying at home? Oh, that's an interesting question. I actually, I think they're trying to hide it from the international community. Um, how, how well does that going? I mean, we just, did you see that viral video with that Chinese nurse? Um, uh, I, I, I've seen several with uh, Chinese nurses. I saw one with one getting coughed on this morning. Yeah, well, it, it, it turns out, um, it, it, it seems to me that those sorts of things are very easy manipulated. Oh! I, I have a uh, theory that maybe like the CIA are spamming out those those videos. Well, yeah, I'm actually I find it quite curious. So um, I was reading about uh, some Chinese spies arrested in Canada for shipping the virus out from a Canadian lab to China in 2015. Chinese spies shipping the virus from Canada. Yes, yes, they stole it from a bio lab in Canada. Really? Is there any and any, any any even slight proof? Anything interesting? Yes, there's actually, there are actually arrest records of these two Chinese spies, and it was documented that they were shipping out the coronavirus, and it was actually labeled the coronavirus in the news story. By uh, let me, I have to find the exact source here. Claims that uh, Chinese scientists stole virus from Winnipeg lab. Oh, it's it's baseless yes. stories. This is a story debunking. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't, actually haven't looked into it at all. But I'd be more inclined to believe that uh, this escape was, you know, no matter the origin, um, I, I'd be willing to bet that it is on purpose. The bat, I just don't buy the bat story. I, I agree. I agree with you. Um, I think that that's a fairly... Logical assumption. I mean, I, I, I just hesitate to think we're told anything that's true these days from anyone. I don't believe anything that any mainstream source says. No, uh, neither fact, do I. I. I tend to lean towards the opposite, but it requires so much research and time is so short, it's difficult to truly find the truth. And it's like we, not like we can put bodies on the ground in mainland China. <laughs> well, they're putting bodies on the ground. And that's not... No, you're not. You're not wrong. They um have built like three hospitals in like twelve days. It's absolutely incredible. I think they're yeah. They're just totally repurposing these old warehouses. Um, it's amazing what they're doing. The uh, Chinese military and social machine when it gets going is just unbelievable. It, it's shocking, but that should also suggest to you that it's much more serious than they're letting on. Yeah, but at the same time. They have, with the amount of population they have, they have so much to lose if this is as serious as it is. Why would they not just say how serious it is so they could get international help if they need it and just let their own people realize? I saw a really great meme today. I saw a meme today where it's like, the doctor tells someone they've got flu. Everyone else, okay, I think I'll stay home and get better. And it's the, the Chinese tourists, time to travel the world! <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if it's a short-sighted decision to try and not scare away investors. Well, the Dow Jones is down uh, 500, 600 points right now. It's dropped that much. I haven't checked it since yesterday. Yeah, it has. It's absolutely... If I just pull up my phone here while we talk, um, at lunchtime today, it was down 506 points. 
Holy cow! It's now down 633. That's 2%. Hold on, pulling it on right now. That's wow, that's, that's actually quite it's quite the market it seems to be taking this pretty seriously. Well, that's and that's why I think they're trying part of the reason at least why they're trying to downplay it right now cuz that's a massive hit. See, yeah, it's 644 654. Wow. Yeah, Nasdaq is down 168 and the S&P is down 1.81. That's crazy. Yep. I think the market forces are certainly Worry that this might be more serious than they think it is. I'm, wh so well, I, has to, what, what, what's that? Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, one has to think when much of our manufacturing is still done in China, or at least the prefabrication before they send the materials over here. Uh, this, I mean, and if they keep shutting down and quarantining more cities, this is going to seriously reverberate throughout the market uh, in all kinds of industries. Uh, but... Uh, the stock market is, uh, <clears throat> you know, the stocks and all that's kind of boring stuff here. Um, I'm more interested that we just had our first human to human transmission here in the United States. In fact, in your neck of the woods in Chicago. Yes, well, it doesn't surprise me. Chicago is a very international location, but um, it, 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 it does seem that this could be a real thing. Uh, I mean, it very well could. I, I'm reading all the headlines here, and it seems like somebody's just playing uh, play ink here. I don't know if you've seen those memes. They're pretty damn good. No, I'll have to check him, stick some of them out. Let me just, uh, human to human transmission. Human to human coronavirus. I mean, Ebola, as bad as it was, never, never took, never became a mainstream problem because the Western oh. world reacted so quickly. Right, right. Well, yeah. I yeah, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just, I, I worry, worry that, I wonder if, could this be just stock market manipulation by China? Maybe they're pretending it's not very bad to make you think it is very bad to cause the Western markets to crash. But I don't know what interest they would have in that. Maybe a... Yeah, over I don't know, but the plague, the plague also puts them at a disadvantage in the negotiating with the trade. I guess if you crash the market... I don't... You know, things can get so crazy, I have no idea. How Maybe about... It's actually, it actually is just an accident. How about a, a sabotage of uh, Trump's re-election campaign? P Trump won't win the election if the Dow Jones tanks. That's a fact, you know. People voted for him. One of the main reasons he's still in, as good in, much in power as he is is the stock market is doing fantastic, you know. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I don't think people care so much about the stock market and how it's doing anymore. I, I, yeah, just a lot of the middle class people I work with, they voted for him last time because he wanted to change and they're going to vote for him this time because they're rich, you know? Perhaps, perhaps I mean, a lot of people, in, including myself, uh, are, are benefiting greatly from having Trump as president. Yeah, I just wonder why. I just, this, it, it seems very, very weirdly timed, um... I guess there's so much we don't know. I mean, there's not very many great well, that's, questions. That's, that's the problem. There's such a dearth of information. Um, you know, it's a very... I'm suspicious of the disease because there's a biolab in China. There, uh, I think it's the highest level biolab that you can have. It's a level four, uh, 20 miles... Is it 20 miles? Yeah, I believe it's 20 miles outside the city center of Wuhan. Um, so it's, it's extremely suspicious to me that a biolab uh, cr supposedly uh, creating bioweapons randomly has a disease which seems like it's actually quite effective at at, um, at least culling the masses uh, is randomly or randomly appears in Wuhan. It's very suspicious. Um, you know, of course, that's pure speculation. But, you know, at some point, you know, things start kind of adding up. I mean, I guess, I guess we can, we'll see. I mean, that, that there's a, there's a, Possibility, absolutely possible, real possibility that it actually is uh, just uh, something they've developed themselves for use in the future. Someone got careless taking it home from the lab one day. Maybe a rat escaped, gave it to a sheep. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't want to know how that happened, but. Well, you you know, rats and sheep. You know, when a rat loves oh, a sheep yeah. very much. Yeah, yeah. Apparently they do. <laughs> Winds it and dines it. Alexander. Well, I, I believe it can be transmitted from animal to animal. I think it can be. I, I'm not entirely sure. I still don't know how much doctors actually know. 
I hear new information about this virus every day um, and often conflicting. Yeah, I guess there's not much really to go on at this point. But... No, but speculation is so much fun. It's it is. So it's, 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 the interesting thing is there's like a global megalomaniac superpower where this virus has come from. It's not like it's come from some like really open, transparent country like, you know, the Netherlands or something, which would just open their doors to the world's top scientists to come in immediately and find out as much as possible. Well, you know, something I find very curious is uh, one of the reasons I'm, I'm not convinced this is organic is because I believe Bill Gates uh, or one of Bill Gates's foundations has invested heavily uh, in the development of the coronavirus. There's a patent for it. Again, I don't know how true all of this is. I don't have all the information. I'm not going to spend an hour researching this. But um, apparently Bill Gates was involved in the investment and the development of this, this virus for whatever purpose. Now, how much do you know about Bill Gates and the, the Gates Foundation? Quite a lot. He's spent a billions um, trying to get rid of stuff, uh, malaria in Africa and the rest of the world. Right, but uh, have you also heard about his comments uh, regarding having too many people on the planet? Um, I haven't, actually. Yeah, he's, uh, he openly has, he's, he's openly stated that there are too many people on the planet um, and that he's advocated for eugenics and a calling of the population. Really? So I find it very suspicious uh, and in fact, uh, not that long ago, I think it was last year, Bill Gates had predicted that 30, uh, 33 million people would die uh, via a, a virus. Uh, and he didn't say how it would happen. Uh, let me see. In fact, I have it right here. I'm just having a quick look. Um, Bill Gates does believe the world's suffering from overpopulation. Um, mm -hmm. And he wants and thinks we should reduce world population in, any, in a lot of ways possible. But he also there's also here Bill Gates thinks too many Africans call for population control. Um, he so something I've, I found really interesting, just looking up Bill Gates. He's a very curious character. Um, in some of these sub-Saharan African villages where they're out there trying to uh, fight Ebola, yeah, uh, a lot of the villagers have been attacking or attacking the aid workers uh, because they're convinced that uh, they're being sterilized via the vaccines they're being given. Interesting. And it's also very curious that Ebola is there, right? Um, e Ebola is a very mysterious disease, um, and we don't know a whole lot about it. Yep. Now, some of this stuff I just hadn't really thought of or looked into, I won't lie. No, but absolutely. It's just, you know, I used to think that all of these these things were just total conspiracy theories. There's no way... But once you start paying attention to what, I mean, a lot of this information is out in the open. A lot of these elites will openly say what they're doing, but they know that there are no consequences for it. Yep. I wondered. I wonder. Yeah, it's a curious thing. I just find it amazing. I mean, this is China's quarantine of Wuhan. I think they're up to 56 million people now. Is the largest quarantine in human history. That's unbelievable. Wow, yeah, I didn't even know. Absolutely shocking. What are your predictions about how this might develop in the next seven days? If I call you again Friday night, what sort of things do you think we might be talking about? Is the Dow Jones going to keep crashing? I mean, down 600, down 2% in 12 hours. It's, it's a shocking amount. That's a shocking amount of money. If you own a billion dollars and you lose 2% of it, you know, that, that's a lot of money. Um, yeah, that's a tremendous amount of money. I don't know. It seems like uh, the cases uh, of infections have been rising steadily uh, daily. I don't know exactly. I don't think anybody knows the precise percentages yet um, and the precise numbers, but it seems like it's been rising almost exponentially each day. And now we're getting more and more reported cases internationally. Uh, and I think every continent now has at least one case. So I would be curious if we continue to allow flight travel uh, and nobody is shutting down their borders and stopping. I think a couple countries, in fact, Russia just shut down their border travel with China. Um, but, you know, if we continue to allow travel to and from the provinces, I, I could definitely see where you could see, you know, I don't know how many, 
Uh, would I be comfortable saying maybe 30 or 40,000 cases in the next week? Maybe. Because uh, I don't think they're reporting accurately. I've heard numbers from people in China stating it's as high as 100,000 people infected already. Right? Yeah. That, that the official number is, is totally fabricated. Yeah. That, that, there was that viral video. I'll encourage you to look it up later. Um, that there was a Chinese nurse basically saying that she's like got a mask on so you can't see her face or anything other than her eyes and that really doesn't tell you much over there. No pun intended, no, no, not meaning to be savage, but really <laughs> you, you can't tell nothing. Um, right. But she says they're underreporting it by a factor of 10. Right, okay, so there you go. See, that, but the, the problem is, and this is the problem with this, this internet age, is there's no truth. She could be fake. She could be sitting in, I, I, and I haven't seen the video yet, but it could be some Chinese American nurse sitting in a hospital somewhere saying something. Uh, especially if you can't see her face or anything else. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, that's about all I've got time for. In terms oh. of just, just, just random chit chat. We can keep talking ourselves <laughs> later. Just I'd love to try and just just do one thing a week. Maybe just like a ten minute segment where we, we talk about something crazy in the week. Yeah, let's uh yeah, we should definitely try and as as we talk about these, because I'd love to do this. I, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, let's Have try and make it a little more humorous. Let's, let's get a little crazy with it. I mean, yeah. Try and stay within the realm of possibilities. And I'll tr I'll try and like pr give you a topic stuff we'll talk about beforehand, so we can actually have stuff to mention, have stuff to talk about, too. This was just yeah. more throw hastily thrown together.